Hello wonderful viewers! Today, we're delving into the captivating world of Yellowstone and exploring a question many have wondered about. Is Broken Rock Reservation a real place? The Paramount Network's hit series has taken us on a roller coaster of drama and emotions, especially when it comes to its portrait of Native American life. If you're a fan of Yellowstone, you're no stranger to the Broken Rock Indian Reservation, a fictional setting that has become a crucial backdrop for the series. But here's the twist. It's not a real place. Despite its prominent role in the show, Broken Rock Reservation is purely a creation for the world of Yellowstone. In reality, Montana, the breathtaking backdrop for the series, is home to seven different Indian reservations. These include the Blackfeet and Flathead reservations in the Northwest, Rocky Boys and Fort Belknap in the North Central region, and more. However, the Broken Rock Indian Reservation is not one of them. It's a figment of the show's imagination conjured up to tell a compelling story. The series places Broken Rock somewhere near Paradise Valley, bordering Yellowstone National Park. While the exact geographical location is unclear, the show's creator Taylor Sheridan uses the frictional reservation to delve into the complexities of Native American issues, giving viewers a glimpse into a world that often goes unnoticed. Now here's where reality meets fiction. Although Broken Rock doesn't exist, Taylor Sheridan is committed to authenticity. The show films all its Broken Rock scenes, including casino scenes, on the Crow Indian Reservation in southeast Montana. While it may not be the exact setting portrayed in the series, it brings a level of genuine representation to the screen. The decision to film on Crowland was met with skepticism initially, given historical misrepresentations of Native Americans in cinema. However, the Crow Nation tribal chairman, AJ Not Afraid, was won over when the show committed to portraying native facts authentically. It's a step towards correcting the often misunderstood portrayal of Native Americans in the media. Sheridan, known for his dedication to native issues, expressed his commitment to rewriting the narrative. He believes that Native Americans are often misrepresented in cinema, and through Yellowstone, he aims to offer a more genuine perspective on their lives. Yellowstone isn't alone in this mission. The show has paved the way for a positive shift in Native American representation on television. The impact, sometimes called the Yellowstone Effect, has encouraged other series to portray Native communities more authentically. Shows like Longmire, set on Montana's Northern Cheyenne Indian Reservation, explored Rare's life even before Yellowstone hit the screens. These series, including Dark Winds and Reservation Dogs, continue to surprise audiences with their genuine portrayal of indigenous cultures. It's not just about fiction. Even the Western genre, notorious for its misrepresentations, is undergoing a positive transformation. Outer Range and the sequel Sheridan's Wind River aim to bring more positive Native American representation to the forefront. And there you have it, the captivating tale of Yellowstone's Broken Rock Reservation, a fictional creation with a real impact. As we enjoy the drama on our screens, it's heartening to know that the series is contributing to a more authentic portrayal of Native American life. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of Yellowstone, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more stories that tug at the heart. Share your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, stay tuned for more tales of love, drama and the power of representation.